I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It's very challenging and a lot of fun, but it could be a little overwhelming because you get a lot of tiles. If you play online, you have to make decisions on a timer. That's why I like to practice with these sprints. If you can make decisions in under two minutes, then you can play online comfortably or maybe even play in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and back to 28. So Joker Flower, Almost News, Pair of Wests, Pung of Red, Green and White, 2, 3, 7 and Cracks, 1, 2, 3, 5 and Bams with a pair of 1s, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, a Pung, and an 8. I think what I would do here is play a Quint with the 7s and Wests, and then I would maybe do the, let's see, oh boy, uh, something with Dragons. Red dragon, oh my goodness, red dragon, three, like numbers with threes. Okay, so west, sevens, like numbers, joker bait, three, three, maybe keep the ones up here, lap, oh my goodness, okay, so we have like numbers with threes and a quint. I would keep the ones because there is a multiple there. So we could maybe do like numbers with ones, but this is what I was really focused on. I suppose we could do twos or threes. Twos or threes, joker bait there. Probably add a couple seconds on that for options. Joker bait, discards. I think this is pretty good. Quint, well, we got work to do there and work to do here. But we have discards we could just gather. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comments section below with sprint one and what you would do. We have jokers, flowers, pear, pear west, white, green, one, four, six, seven, and cracks, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and dots with pairs of threes and sevens, one, four, five, eight, nine, and bams with pairs of ones and nines. So with these tiles, three, six, nine, one through four, three, west, west. There's a west. I don't think I would play a quint here because we don't have any big multiples. I would focus on the number tiles. So six, seven, eight, nine, and one through five, maybe little odds. Little numbers, big numbers. Oops. 
one through five, six through nine lap. I messed the time up, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so we have six, seven, eight, nine, for example. We could do six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe use these for a little odd hand. Or we could do, let's see, six, seven, six, seven, eight, right here. Six, seven, six, seven, eight. I would just keep all six through nine gather. Down here, little odd potential. Maybe the fours can go. I think little odds or one, two, three, four. That's kind of why I was keeping the fours. I think I would just keep one through one through five and see what happens, but focus on ones and threes. Probably little odds with or without these. Now the little odd hands with flowers are one suit. So we might Use this up here. Use those down there for little odds. I think I would discard those and just gather. Focus on building around multiples. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write sprint two and what you would do with these tiles. This was very challenging. There's some five, seven, nine here. Maybe five, seven, nine, and then two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five, seven, nine. Still with the same plan there. All right, we're gonna keep going. We have a fla uh, three flowers, a joker there, east, south, white, red, two, four, five, six, eight in cracks, singles, one, two, four, six, seven, nine in dots with a pung of twos, pair seven. In bams, we have one, three, six, eight, pair of threes. So here, I think two, two, four, I think maybe a two, four, six, eight hand, and then something with the flowers. Let's see, do we have any like number potential in here? We do have fours. We have a pair of sevens and a pair of nines. One, two, four, two, four, six, eight for sure. Let's pull that. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so there's two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe a pair hand. And then up here, seven, nine, dragon, seven, nine, joker bait, maybe discard those. Two, four, six, eight, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, maybe. Let's lap. So I would do big odds and then two, four, six, eight. This would be joker bait and I would discard those. This could be maybe a pair hand. We have a pung in here though. I would just gather and then let the hand reveal itself. The nice thing is we have a pair there. Up here we could maybe do five, seven, nine dragon, but we have a gap, no five dot. So that would be a little bit of a risky plan. Another thing we could try is Maybe five, seven, seven, nine. We have that to help. It's a little bleak. With or without dragons, I don't know. The ones, I don't think I would use. We could maybe try for a year hand, but we'd have to let go of a two. I would try to figure out how to use the two. Like maybe we could do two, four, six, eight, or two, four, six, eight. That's why I would just keep it all. Maybe keep in mind the pair hand. 
since we have such a good representation here. We could maybe do the concealed hand and then use these up here for five, seven, nine with four flowers. Use this for the missing five dot. Still use that for joker bait. And then do the concealed hand. There's some potential in here. So that's how I would do it. If you would do something differently, write sprint three and what you would do with these tiles. Let's see how things went with the time. When you're making fast decisions, the most important thing to remember is to build around the strength of the hand. That's going to be either multiples or a predominant pattern. Pick a category that uses as the most of your tiles supporting the strength of the hands and then start discarding. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.